Womp womp. Womp womp is a slang term used to express disappointment or failure in a humorous way. It's often used to lighten the mood after something unfortunate or embarrassing happens. For example, two friends talking about a recent experience. So did you ask Jennifer out on a date yet? Yeah, she turned me down. She said we were better off just being friends. Ouch. Friend zone. Womp womp. Eight. Besides its literal meaning of consuming food, in online slang, ate, often used as she ate, he ate, or they ate, means someone did something impressively or exceptionally well. It's a way to show admiration and praise. For example, to express admiration for a friend's fashion choices or outfit, you could write a comment like, girl, you ate that outfit. Touch grass. Touch grass is a slang term used online that tells someone to go outside and spend time in nature. It's a lighthearted or humorous way of suggesting someone is spending way too much time online and could benefit from a break. For example, if a friend has been binge watching TV all day, you might say, you need to take a break and touch some grass. Mewing. Originally, mewing referred to a facial exercise where you press your tongue to the roof of your mouth in a certain way. This supposedly strengthens and defines your jawline. In a more recent trend, mewing means jokingly avoiding answering someone's question. When somebody comes up and asks you a question, particularly if it's the teacher or a parent, and you don't want to answer the question, you hit them with the mewing, which simply means, I can't answer your question right now. I'm mewing. I'm working on my jawline. Yapping. Similar to mewing, yapping describes talking excessively or loudly, often without considering the impact on others. It can also imply that the content of the speech is trivial or annoying. Here's an example. My friend is a total yapper. She can talk about anything for hours. BBG. This abbreviation stands for baby girl and is often used affectionately or playfully to address someone, typically a close friend or romantic partner. For example, you might send a text to your best friend saying, Hey, BBG, let's hang out tonight. For real, for real is a... These abbreviations are short for for real and are used to emphasize sincerity or seriousness in a statement. It's often used in informal communication, such as texting or casual conversation, to convey authenticity. For example, if someone makes a surprising claim and you want to express genuine disbelief, you might respond with For real, for real. Preppy. This term describes a style or attitude associated with traditional, affluent schooling typically characterized by neat, conservative clothing choices and an emphasis on academic achievement and social status. It's often associated with private schools and Ivy League universities. For example, someone might be described as preppy if they frequently wear polo shirts, khaki pants, and boat shoes. Emo. Short for emotional, this term originally referred to a subculture of music and fashion in the early 2000s characterized by introspective lyrics, expressive fashion choices, such as dark clothing, eyeliner, and dyed hair, and a focus on individuality and emotion. Today, emo can also be used more broadly to describe someone who is emotionally sensitive or introspective. For example, you might say, she's going through an emo phase right now. Plah. This expression is used to dismiss or express disbelief in something. It's similar to saying whatever or yeah right in response to a statement that you find unconvincing or ridiculous. For example, if someone tries to convince you that they saw a UFO last night, you might respond with, plah, sure you did. Edging. In a sexual context, edging refers to the practice of bringing oneself or a partner to the brink of orgasm repeatedly without actually climaxing. This can create intense sexual tension and prolong the experience. It requires careful control and communication between partners. For example, a couple might incorporate edging into their lovemaking to explore new sensations and build anticipation. Peeps. This slang term is a shortened form of people and is commonly used to refer to friends or acquaintances. It's often used casually in conversation or on social media when talking about a group of individuals. For example, you might say, I'm meeting up with my peeps for brunch this weekend. I'm cooked. This phrase is used to convey a feeling of exhaustion or mental fatigue. It suggests that the speaker has reached their limit and is unable to continue exerting effort. 
It can be used in various contexts, such as after a long day of work or a physically demanding activity. For example, someone might say, I've been studying all night for this exam. I'm totally cooked. You're selling. When someone accuses another person of selling, they are essentially accusing them of lying or exaggerating. It implies that the person's statement or claim is not credible or believable. For example, if a friend tries to convince you that they've never skipped a day of working out in their life, you might respond with, you're selling, nobody's that dedicated. Situationship. This term describes a romantic or sexual relationship that lacks clear boundaries or commitment. It's often used to describe a dynamic where two people are involved romantically or sexually without explicitly defining the nature of their relationship. Situationships can be ambiguous and may involve varying degrees of emotional involvement. For example, if someone asks about the status of your relationship with a certain person and you're unsure how to define it, you might say, it's complicated, we're in a situationship. Banging. Banging is used to describe something that is excellent, exciting, or impressive. It's often used to express enthusiasm or approval. For example, if you attend a concert and the performance is exceptionally good, you might say, that concert was banging. For sure. This term is a casual way of expressing agreement or confirmation. It's often used in response to a statement or question to indicate that the speaker acknowledges or accepts what was said. For example, if someone asks if you want to grab dinner later, you might respond with, for sure, I'm hungry. Tough. A variation of the word tough, tough is used to describe something that is difficult, challenging, or cool. It's often used in informal settings to convey resilience or admiration. For example, if someone completes a particularly demanding workout, you might say, that was a tough workout. Type ship. This term refers to a romantic sexual relationship between two people. It's often used in informal conversation or text messaging to discuss relationships in a lighthearted or colloquial manner. For example, if someone asks about your dating life, you might respond with, I'm not in a serious relationship right now, just some casual type ships. Glaze. To glaze over something means to ignore or pay little attention to it. It's often used when someone fails to acknowledge or address an issue or topic of conversation. For example, if you're discussing a serious problem with a friend and they suddenly change the subject to something trivial, you might say, don't glaze over the issue, we need to talk about this. Fit. In contemporary slang, fit refers to an outfit or clothing ensemble. It's commonly used among younger generations to describe someone's choice of clothing or style. For example, if you see a friend wearing a stylish outfit, you might compliment them by saying, that's a great fit. Drip. This term originated from hip hop culture and refers to someone's fashion sense or style. It's used to describe the way someone carries themselves with confidence and swag in their clothing choices. Drip often implies that the person's fashion choices are eye-catching or enviable. For instance, if you see someone wearing designer clothes and accessorizing with confidence, you might say, they've got serious drip. NNN. An abbreviation for no need to know, used to dismiss or shut down conversation about a particular topic. It indicates that the information being discussed is not relevant or important for the listener to know. For example, if someone asks about your personal finances, you might respond with, it's all NNN. Don't worry about it.